Mr. Speaker, last week the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs shocked and deeply wounded Alberta First Nation leaders in alleging that unreleased RCMP data shows Indigenous men are 70 percent responsible for missing and murdered Aboriginal women. The RCMP have now directly contradicted this. I can personally attest, Mr. Speaker, to the relentless efforts of Alberta First Nation leaders, men and women, in seeking justice for their missing and murdered family members. And they have been relentless in calling this government to call for a judicial inquiry into missing and murdered women. Will this minister, who has made this shameful, groundless insult to Alberta First Nations, will he stand and apologize? Here, here. Mr. Speaker, as I've said many times in this House, violence against women and girls is simply not acceptable. This government has moved forward with an action plan, in fact, placed in this House in September of 2014. Unlike the opposition, who don't want to take action to actually help these women and their families, to make sure that they're protected, that shelters are created, or maybe supporting matrimonial property rights. This government is taking action to make sure that these heinous crimes are dealt with. The opposition just bury their heads in the sand. 